This is WSLS 10, Virginia Today. A massive search to find a missing three-year-old comes to an end after the child was found safely overnight in Henry County. What we're learning this morning. If that we will have more than Democratic for support for this bill if it was ever given a vote in committee or on the floor. Debate over North Carolina's so-called bathroom law heats up. How Democrats are fighting this law. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us on Virginia Today here on WSLS 10. I'm Jenna Zimton. And I'm Patrick McKee. And the muggies have returned. You're going to feel that as you step out the door, which probably means some rain's coming soon. We could use a little more. Christina is here with a look at our forecast this morning. Good morning. Yes, we could use some rain, and we are going to get some of that, mainly overnight tonight and into tomorrow. For the daytime hours, we are mainly dry. As you step out the door, it is pretty warm. It is humid. At the bus stop, expect temperatures in the lower 60s. On your way back home, pretty warm. Temperatures in those low to middle 80s. Right now, we are in the low and middle 50s in the NRV, in the Highlands, upper 50s, low 60s. Roanoke, Smith Mountain Lake, Lynchburg and South Boston. All the rain showers are still to our north. That is a cold front that just moved through Cleveland, and that will be our weather maker for the overnight hours and also into tomorrow. I will break it down for you hour by hour. I'll have your seven day outlook, and right after that, we share the picture of the day. All of that coming up at 640. Checking in with time saver traffic. Drive times on 460 East, Blacksburg to Roanoke, 57 minutes. 29 from Roanoke to Bedford and 19 from Bedford into Lynchburg. And on 221, 33 from Roanoke to Bent Mountain. Bent Mountain to Floyd, 27 minutes. Floyd to Hillsville, 34. Jenna? Thanks, Christina. A scary night for one family after their son went missing from their Henry County home. But the more than nine hour long search ended with some good news. Well, thank goodness for that. The three year old was found safe around three this morning at the end of Evergreen Drive in Spencer. He went missing around 6 last night from his home on Wagon Trail Road, three miles away after his mom stepped out of the room. WSLS 10's Aaron Brookshire joins us live from the scene this morning with the very latest. Aaron, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, definitely good news this morning as three-year-old Mason Ryan and his family are heading home. He went to the hospital overnight after searchers found him just to make sure everything was okay, but I'm told he was found safely just around three o'clock this morning. Now, the search all started yesterday around six o'clock last night when Mason and his dog were reported missing from their home on Wagon Trail Road. His mom says she stepped into another room, and when she came back, the boy and the dog were both gone. Now, crews began searching the area around his house. That search went on for more than nine hours before he was finally found just a few hours ago around three o'clock this morning. I have nieces and nephews. I have little brothers and um, I'm thinking to myself like that can be them. So I just came out here with my wife. So. A very touching end to that search. The boy and his dog were found together. Searchers say the dog never left his side. They were found just a few miles from their home. Now, as we mentioned, he was taken to the hospital just to make sure everything was okay. He and his family, the dog, all headed back home today. So definitely a good ending to this story. Live in Henry County, I'm Erin Brookshire, WSLS 10. Well, thank you, Erin. A man in jail this morning after police say he shot five people in Halifax County over the weekend. The Halifax County Sheriff confirms that 19-year-old Malik Cobbs was arrested by Duke University Police. He was at Duke University Hospital getting treatment for a gunshot wound. Cobbs is being held in Durham, North Carolina, waiting extradition back to Virginia. State police say five people were shot when someone started shooting in a crowd of people leaving a birthday party at the VFW in Halifax around 2 Sunday morning. A Halifax County Sheriff's deputy shot Cobbs moments after the shooting started. State police continue investigating. Tonight, community members will mark the two-month anniversary of the deadly shooting of a Roanoke County high schooler. 18-year-old Keontae Spencer, a student at Hidden Valley High School, was shot and killed by Roanoke County police while walking along Electric Road in February. Officers say the teen ignored commands to drop a BB gun. Community members plan to voice concerns over the department not allowing an independent investigation or releasing dash cam video from the night of Spencer's death. The event will be held at the Cave Spring Post Office. The family of a Cleveland boy killed by police will receive a $6 million settlement. 
A Cleveland rookie police officer shot and killed 12-year-old Tamir Rice in 2014 while responding to a 911 call of a person with a gun at a rec center. The 911 caller reported that the gun might be a toy, but officers were never told. Rice's family sued the city, officers, and dispatchers for wrongful death. The settlement, it'll be paid out in two installments, and it does not acknowledge any wrongdoing. The mayor says an internal review is underway to determine if any disciplinary action will be taken against the officers. New this morning, more than 50 people protesting North Carolina's controversial bathroom law are arrested a day after demonstrations. Hundreds gathered in downtown Raleigh for the first day of the 2016 General Assembly session. Protesters lined hallways and sang civil rights songs, voicing their concerns. The bill requires transgender people to use the bathroom according to the sex on their birth certificate, rather than what they choose to identify with. Groups that support the law also rallied at the Capitol, urging lawmakers to stand strong against mounting pressure. This will continue, and more entertainment leaders will boycott this state until HB2 uh, has been repealed. For the rights of privacy, I think it's very important that we hold on to our bathroom values. Democrats have already filed a bill to overturn the legislation. Political experts say the move to repeal the bill has little chance of passing due to a lack of bipartisan support. Efforts are underway to help ex-offenders in southwest Virginia today. Delegate Sam Rizzoli and community partners will celebrate the opening of the new chapter housing initiative. The program helps ex-offenders build their lives. Organizers say the goal is to provide affordable transitional housing for them. A job and resource fair for ex-offenders will take place today from 10 until 2 and the Martinsville Salvation Army. More than 40 employers will attend. New this morning, two state agency reports on the death of a mentally ill Virginia inmate being questioned on whether they were thorough enough. Neither state reports included interviews with court employees who were supposed to send the judge's initial order for the transfer of 24-year-old J. Michael Mitchell to a state mental hospital in May. Mitchell was found dead in his Portsmouth jail cell in August after losing so much weight, his heart stopped. Virginia lawmakers continue working to improve the mental health system. Some say there's a lot of room for improvements. A new report from the state showed many Virginians lack coverage for mental health services and that there's too much reliance on crisis care. What Virginia must solve? We need improved and more consistent access. We need consistent quality. We need consistent services. Uh, and we need accountability. On the financial side, Barber says the state's reliance on institutions is costly as hospitals are the most expensive setting for care. We're not alone in having an imperfect system. Nobody gets it right, but we have a chance to build something that can be a model for the rest of the country. Now, Barber says overall he believes that Virginia does well in caring for those in crisis, but he thinks there are upgrades that could be made in the consistency and funding of community-based care. Crews continue battling that massive wildfire in the Shenandoah National Park. The Rocky Mount fire was first reported April 16th and has grown from just 70 acres to more than 10,000 acres this morning, making it the second largest wildfire in the park's history. Firefighters have been successful in their efforts. The fire now about 70 percent contained. The cause still under investigation, but it's believed to have been started by people. People in the central and southern plains, they are on high alert today as a severe weather outbreak is expected this afternoon and evening. Large hail, damaging winds, and those strong long track tornadoes, all a possibility later today. The Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma says the most dangerous weather is expected from southern Oklahoma to southern Nebraska. This comes after much of the area was hit with strong storms Monday. You see the hail bouncing there. A separate storm system could bring thunderstorms to parts of the east. But Christina, you're saying this is a completely